In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at data manipulation and cleaning with Tidyverse. So first, let's start off by installing the Tidyverse package and an example data set. Tidyverse is basically a collection of data cleaning packages, including TidyR, dplyr, and tibble, along with the graphing package ggplot2. So we'll use the install.packages function in R to install our Tidyverse, and then library Tidyverse so that we can start using these packages right away. Now the example data set we are going to be using today I pulled off of unicef.org and it ba it's basically a collection of surveys detailing adolescent female health data. Surveyors gathered information on a list of health indicators and recorded the corresponding percentage of women who responded positively to that in indicator. To access the data set we are going to be working with today, you can go to this link and then once you've downloaded this data set, convert the long form of it into a CSV file. Now let's start off by setting our working directory using set wd and now read in our health data uh, using read.csv and I labeled mine as add underscore health. Now let's look at the dimensions of our data set using dim and we can see that Approximately, the data set has 32,000 rows and 10 columns. So it's a pretty big data set that we're going to be working with today. The prerequisite to uh, going through the dplyr and tidyr packages is just setting this large data set as a tibble and renaming the columns. So a tibble is a data frame in R with unique printing and subsetting defaults, and it's very useful when you're dealing with these large data sets. So we're going to be using the function as underscore tibble uh, to convert our add underscore health data set to a tibble. And then let's look at the names of the columns in our data set. And we can see that the columns have interesting names such as country dot or dot area, which might not be easy to work with later on or understandable to um, anyone else viewing this data set. So we can start off by renaming the columns and instead of something like country.or.area, I renamed that as location. And now we can view a summary of our health data set. And we can see that uh, we have a few different indicators here, uh, which are the labels are not yet understandable to us, but they will become understandable to us later on. 